Welcome to the 360 Canva Blogging Guide. Today what we're going to do is spend just a few moments looking at how to create A roll and B roll inside the Insta360 Studio, the PC app version of the studio. And so what I'm up to going to do is I'm up here at the lake today. I'm going to just take a just a short video of myself here here at the lake, just using it as a, a test to show you how you would do that. And so we're going to go back and right now I'm in A roll. So you can see that the video is focused on me. And this is usually what you would be using as you're talking about your surroundings, as you're describing the, your vlog, the information that's going on. Now one of the beautiful things about this camera is that at the same time it captures the B-roll. And so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to switch over from the A-roll to the B-roll. And now you can see at the same time here, while I'm capturing the A-roll, I also have the B-roll. And I can switch back and forth to be able to share that um, with my audience. So as I walk over here to the lake, I'm still in B-roll and I'm showing what I'm talking about. And then because the A-roll is also being captured, the selfie view, I can just use the editing software to switch it back to me. And now we're back on A-roll. So to create our A-roll and B-roll, the first thing we want to do is to load up the Insta360 Studio application. And we'll be using that to develop our A-roll and B-roll from the footage that our camera has captured. Now we are going to develop our A-roll and B-roll inside the Insta360 Studio desktop application. To do so, I've already downloaded the footage that we're going to be working on from the camera onto my hard drive. And so I want to go over here and I have it uh, highlighted here so that it's getting my local files. And I go to open. Now this is going to bring up everything that I brought over from the camera. You're going to see some files that start with LV, excuse me, LRV, and you're not going to worry so much about those. The ones that are that are have the actual video start with the VID. And so I know that the file that I'm working on, the ones that I want to show the A roll and B roll from, are these two. You're going to always find two files for each video. For example, you'll see here um, 012012. The reason being is that a 360 camera has two lenses and that it actually has those two videos that when you put it into the uh, studio software, it's going to stitch them together. So I highlight the two that we're working on today. I click open and you'll see those that, that information, you'll see it get loaded here. And so here's the video. And you can see it as a 360. You can see how it's been stitched together. So everything is showing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to export our B-roll. And to export our B-roll, we go down here to the little export button. And we're going to export the B-roll as a 360 video. The reason being is that we're not doing any editing to the B-roll right now. We just want to export the 360 video exactly as it is. And so to do so, uh, we can name it to whatever we want it to name it. And for this one, I'll just call it 360 video. And for the resolution and so forth, you want to keep it at the highest level possible. Um, this is a resolution that the camera it has, has stitched it together at, and so that's the resolution that we're working with. And for the encoding format, what I've been using most recently is ProRes 422. Now, the reason for that is some of the research that I've done shows that ProRes is probably the best choice when you're in the editing uh, role of video, um, when you want to export it to YouTube, now I'll make it as a H.265, but for right now, for editing, I want to keep it as, as high resolution as possible. So I've been exporting it as a ProRes 422. Now, it's extremely slow, I'll tell you that ahead of time, so it may or may not, and I haven't had a chance to really research if the quality that I get from using 422 is better than um, 264, 265, but for right now, that's what I do use. So again, for our B-roll, our export settings, we didn't do any editing at all inside of um, the studio, we're going to export it as a 360 video, and then I'm going to add it to the queue. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to make our A-roll. And to make our A-roll, I use a feature inside of the Insta360 Studio called a Deep Track. What Deep Track does is that you can choose whatever you want the video to focus on and it'll keep that focus that tracking going on no matter where you go no matter how you walk so when you click on deep track it gives you two options I can either go up here and I can draw a box around where I want to track or another neat feature as you'll see here is that it already sees this as a possible target and you'll see that little uh, mark that's on me and if that's what I want to track which is what I want to track because this is our a roll I click on that and you'll see what it does. It'll start tracking me um, and that's how I create the A-roll automatically inside of the Insta360 Studio. So we're going to let the tracking uh, software work here and as soon as it's done I'll show you how to save it. So once the deep tracking has finished its work and has created our A-roll by tracking myself um, as the vlogger, I want to save that A-roll, that tracked video, and so I will go down to where it says to start export. Now this time, last time if you remember, we last time what we did was the we exported the 360 video for our B-roll. This time we're going to be exporting it reframed because this time we is tracked this focusing just on us as the vlogger. And so I'm going to rename this as uh, let's see track tracking video or whatever you want to call it. And again, as I mentioned earlier, make sure you have the export reframe video option chosen. I export it as a 4K, in 4K resolution, and as I mentioned earlier, I have been using ProRes um, for my encoding format, and then I add it to the queue. So now you're going to see in the queue two videos that we just created, the A roll and the B roll. The B roll which is our 360 video that she's unedited is we call 360 video and then we have our tracking video that's going to be our A-roll that we're going to be working because working with because that's already been set up the track so once you have those two there ready to export we go up to the export all option and when we click that it'll export everything in the queue as you go down here at the bottom you'll see the percentage of it being done so as we wait for the exporting of our 360 video and tracking video to complete, we're going to jump over to DaVinci Resolve and we're going to set that up so that it's ready to edit 360 video from your 360 camera. Before we can begin editing our A-roll and B-roll in DaVinci Resolve, we first need to set up and prepare DaVinci Resolve for editing 360 video. And to do that, we need to download a plugin for DaVinci Resolve called Carta VR. Now, the plugin, I have a link in the description of this video, so you can go use that link. And once you get to this page that I'm on, when you scroll down, you'll see a button that you can click on. And by clicking on this button, it will download that plugin. So go ahead and do that because now we're going to load DaVinci Resolve and we're going to install that plugin. So once we have loaded DaVinci Resolve, we're going to open up and create a new blank project. So you can either go up here where it says File to New Project or you can go to the Home button on the bottom and do the same thing. So we're just going to create a new project, which is what we're doing right now. And we'll call it A-Roll, B-Roll. Now, of course, before we start editing, we have to go and go ahead and download that new plugin. So the first thing you want to do is go down and you'll see a page on the bottom. It's called the Fusion page. Click on the Fusion page and that's going to open up the Fusion uh, screen. So once you're on the Fusion page, you want to go get the plugin that you downloaded and then drag it over. And all you do is just drop it down there where it says Nodes. And then you're going to get a pop-up saying, do you want to install this plugin? And click install and launch. 
and then it's going to take a couple minutes. Uh, what it's going to do, because this plugin has a lot of other things in it besides the one plugin that we need, it does take a few moments to download. So we'll wait for that and then we'll come back. So once that loads, you want to go over where it says Cartaverse. If you click on Cartaverse, that'll bring up all the different um, Carta VR items. The one we want is the one that says Reframe 360 Ultra. Now my system is already clicked because I have it installed already, but you want to click that. And when you click it, it'll download the information. And then you want to click Install. And what that's going to do, that's going to install the um, plugin that we need to be able to reframe 360 video. So once that's been installed, I can close that window out. And it says that Fusion is going to need to restart. But we're not going to be going back on the Fusion page anyway. What we want to do is go to the edit page. And you want to make sure that your effects panel is open. And if it's not open, you just click up here where it says effects. If you scroll down where it says effects, you'll see now there's a viewer on the bottom. And that's the Reframe 360 um, plugin that we need. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and we can start editing our A roll and B roll. And so you want to make sure that the media pool is open and the first thing you want to do is you want to create a timeline now with the timeline what I do is go in here where the media pool is I might right mouse click and right there is timeline I go over create new timeline it says use project settings I'm going to unclick that because I'm going to change the format from my project settings to uh, 4k I usually use 4K and so that's what I just set this up for, 4K at 30. Now one item that's really important that you do change is this last drop down here. It says stretch frame to all corners and you want to make sure that you change that to stretch frame to all corners. The reason being is that with 360 video if you don't have it stretched here, if you don't choose this option, you're going to get a little black circle at the top and bottom of your video and you don't want that. So just make sure you click that. We're going to click create and now your timeline is created inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and you're going to see there's three different video uh, lines here in the timeline. I'm going to change the name of these. So the first one I'm going to call our B-roll which is the 360 video. The next one I'm going to call our A-roll which is what's tracked and then the one above that, number three, video three, I'm going to call that B-roll visible. And you'll see why I'm doing it that way. Now the next step is to, is to drag your, the video on the A-roll and B-roll that we created earlier in Insta360 Studio. So let me drag those over. Um, videos that we created earlier that I put in there. And you can do it this way if you want. I have it set up this way. So the first thing we're going to do is down where it says B-roll. I'm going to go up there to the 360 video because I know that's what our B-roll is. So that's where I'm going to drag here first. Now if you look at the screen there you might say uh oh you know look at the view. But that's because we haven't applied that plugin yet. To apply the plugin to our 360 video all you do is you right you left mouse click it you drag it over and you drop it onto your video. And what it's going to do is going to adjust it and create a um, 360 video that we're going to be able to go. And as you'll see here with the controls, you go up after you have that dropped in, you go up and click on effects, and there's the, the controls for the plugin. So I usually, you can change this to whatever you want for the field of view. Um, I vary it. Let's just set it here at 0.55 for right now. See how that works. Now the next control is the pitch. So you can control that up and down. Now anytime you, if you set it and you want to go back to zero, you can just double click on the word and it'll drop it down. The yaw, the, the 360 video, as you can see, I can scroll wherever I want it. 
and then roll I don't really use that too much. If you're going to be doing any kind of bicycling or skiing, things like that, this might be something you want to do just to kind of make a special effect, but I don't use that myself. And then here for this projection option, I go in here and pull this up. I think it makes the screen a little bit better, it cleans it up a little bit, makes gets rid of the distortion. So that's my 360 video and how you can see now, I can actually frame it wherever I want. So that's our 360 video. So now with our B-roll in, the next we want to pull over our A-roll. And the A-roll is the tracking video that we created earlier. So I drop that on top. And now this is the tracking video that we have um, created earlier. So now I'm going to bring it in just a little bit here. And another feature I use on here too a lot of times is I'll go down here to it says lens correction to get rid of distortion. This will analyze the video and clean it up a little bit also to make it get rid of the distraction on it. So now you're going to see here's our A roll and underneath is our B roll. Now another thing I normally do is I will highlight both of these and when you right mouse click you can go up here where it says auto align clips based on waveform. What that'll do is it'll go through and looking at the waveform, it'll make sure that they're in perfect alignment. Now, because we didn't do any editing per se over in the uh, Insta360 Studio app, these are already aligned perfectly. But if you do shorten one or you ch make some changes to them, you can go ahead and do that to make sure that they are in perfect alignment. So now that I have our B-roll, our 360 video loaded and ready to go, and also our A-roll, our tracking video, um, I have both of them ready to go. So now I can go in here and start doing my edits where I can switch back and forth be between my A-roll and my B-roll, which is always okay, the same. Uh, so let me, uh, let's listen to this just for a little bit. We'll figure out a place that would be good to do that first edit. Today what we're going to do is spend just a few moments looking at how to create A-roll and B-roll inside the Insta360 Studio, the PC app version of the studio. And so what I'm up to going to do is I'm up here at the lake today. I'm going to just take a just a short video of myself here here at the lake just using it as a a test to show you how you would do that. And so we're going to go back and right now I'm in a roll. So you can see that the video is focused on me. And this is usually what you would be using as you're talking about your surroundings as you're describing the, your vlog, the information that's going on. Now one of the beautiful things about this camera is that at the same time it captures the B-roll. And so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to switch over from the A-roll to the B-roll. So right there, um, just to make it match with what I'm talking about, I'm going to switch over from A-roll to B-roll. The way I do that is the first thing I do is I disable my A-track, my A-roll so that I will not see that and now I'm focused just on the B-roll. The next thing I do is go up to the blade edit mode and I will click here and I'm going to put a cut right in my videos um, right at the point that I'm going to switch it from A-roll to B-roll and then let me play it a little bit here and we'll see uh, when we want to bring it back. And now you can see at the same time here while I'm capturing the A-roll I also have the B-roll and I can switch back and forth to be able to share that um, with my audience. So as I walk over here to the lake, I'm still in B-roll and I'm showing what I'm talking about. And then because the A-roll is also being captured, the selfie view, I can just use the editing software to switch it back to me. Okay, right there. So there is where I'm gonna switch it back to the A-roll. So again, I'm gonna make another cut. And then all I need to do is take my B-roll and I drag it up above the A-roll to that B-roll visible line. And then what will happen, just to make it a little bit smoother, let me just throw a, a uh, cross dissolve on here. And so watch, you'll see here is now all we have is... Um, if I play it, let's listen to this part again. That's going on. Now, one of the beautiful things about this camera is that at the same time, it captures the B-roll. And so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to switch over from the A-roll to the B-roll. 
and now you can see now you'll notice that the, the up here you can see the video doesn't um, didn't really show me show the screen that I want to show so what I want to do is go over to effects and here is where I can set the b-roll to whoever I want it to be the view so let's see it again what we're going to do right now is I'm going to switch over from the A-roll to the B-roll. And now you can see at the same time here while I'm capturing the A-roll, I also have the B-roll. And I can switch back and forth to be able to share that um, with my audience. Now another thing you can do, and I'll, I'm not going to get into a lot of depth on this, but with the um, you can set up um, waypoints at any anywhere you want so here I'm going to put a waypoint and what we're going to do is leave it the same but then we're going to start having it scroll to the end of our video here turn this way so let's see how that looks. And again, that's not a fancy edit, um, just something I want to throw in here just to show you as many of the options that are available. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to switch over from the A-roll to the B-roll. And now you can see at the same time here while I'm capturing the A-roll, I also have the B-roll. And I can switch back and forth to be able to share that um, with my audience. So as I walk over here to the lake, I'm still in B-roll and I'm showing what I'm talking about. And then because the A-roll is also being captured, the selfie view, I can just use the editing software to switch it back to me. Now the one part I just heard, let me just see if I can find it. So I said as I walk over, Maybe here's a point that I would want to put the A-roll back on. So what I only have to do is just take a cut. And I'll cut it there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that back down again. Because then what will happen is it'll, it'll go back and scroll and show me for a minute and then go back to my B-roll. So let's take a look. B-roll. And so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to switch over from the A-roll to the B-roll. And now you can see at the same time here while I'm capturing the A-roll, I also have the B-roll. And I can switch back and forth to be able to share that um, with my audience. So as I walk over here to the lake, I'm still in B-roll and I'm showing what I'm talking about. And then because so you can see there what I did. I just cut that out. And, you know, I just want to show you that um, one of the great things about using da, uh, DaVinci Resolve for your editing, there are so many features, so many things you can do. It's just absolutely amazing. And I mean, we didn't get into the color grading with the sound, everything else. So, so that's a quick look at creating both A-roll and B-roll from your 360 camera footage, how you can create the A-roll and B-roll first inside the Insta360 app and then bring it over into DaVinci Resolve for your final editing. Thank you again for joining me for the 360 Camel Vlogging Guide. I hope you enjoyed what we looked at today, and I look forward to seeing you next time.